Oh, you got one picked out for me? Yeah, I feel like that one would look the best right there. It's a nice looking brick. Oh, it's a gem. Huh? It's a gem. Brick lane goes down pretty quick. Think so? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I bet if you had like two people and you met in the middle. Up. I'm videotaping. That'll be going off faster. Now I gotta cut that part out. You just need it. Huh? Just fast forward it. Yeah, no, it works fast. When it was uh, years ago when we were doing a lot of them, I mean, we'd have three people run in the section. It was only 32 inches wide and we'd all be laying brick on it. It was like madness. So I nobody even brought a level up on this staging because it was just going so fast, you know? Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a broken cut. I feel like people were just getting each other's way at that point. Yeah, you just feel like work around people, you know? It does the same as anything. You're working in a kitchen, uh, people are in your way all the time. You just learn how to work around people. You do your job, try to stay out of other people's way. I'm gonna bring some more mud in No, not yet. See, right now I'm just spotting a brick because I don't have any marks, but I'm just spotting a brick here. And then I gotta make sure I go across, you know? Because, uh, and so it's pretty, pretty close to perfect. Just give it a couple of taps. Pretty close isn't perfect, though. This mud is like sticking to my trowel. Sticky stuff. Yeah, I didn't like it with the shovel, it just sticks to it. You think it might be like that tight end or the line? I mean, it feels good. It's just sticking. It's just sticking a little bit. That's all. So I spot a brick here, and then I take everything level off of that this one brick, you know. But when I when I get up higher. When I get up higher, I'm actually gonna put my marks on the wall, going right up the wall. I would like to actually do it here, but okay. these, these carpenters were supposed to bring this plywood all the way out and, and they didn't. So now I got this big gap. You don't wanna shoot the string down? No, it's gonna be, it's gonna come down. These corners will have strings on them. I'm not gonna do this whole thing without lines, there's no way. But then I'd have heights, you know, I just mark my height and I can build this whole corner up and then I'd go over, build that whole corner up and then I just put a line in the middle, you know? Okay. Do you ever make any cool designs in things? No. What's the coolest thing you've ever done? I've never done anything cool in my life. What, you did the arch? No. Is that your first arch? No. Nope. I've done a few arches. I guess you don't need a cap if you have an arch. They look nice, but it's kind of a poor design. I agree. Usually make the forms on your own. Yeah. It's just nice that guy has a had a whole shop to do it. Why does Jerry Paul does he like work or something? Yeah. What even is it? You have three footer behind you. They do signs. 
signs for road signs, hospitals. Not like road signs, but on the side of the road, you know, for businesses. Because some of these brick are so ugly, the faces, it might end up doing it on purpose. Like, um... They got this, they've been... This is a new company that's making these same brick, but the white is like... Yeah. So now Glen Gary is making them. And some of the white ones are just awful. They just spray though, like, they're just like straight white, like... It looks like it happened on accident, you know? Yeah. I don't know. You're not getting these from Martha Whitcomb? Yeah, but this is the, the brick manufacturer was bought out. Uh, and so the new manufacturer is trying to make the brick, but it's not it's not the same. I don't know. Hopefully they hopefully they look the same, but some of the white on it is different. Yeah, some of it's pretty intense. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I gotta, um, I'm gonna still put a brick in there. There. I meant to do, I meant to do that before I put this uh, wire lath in, but I just forgot about it. That's what these things are about, though. You got to constantly be thinking. It's just it's honestly just problem solving. If you have good problem solving skills, then you can do it. You know, because literally, you're always solving problems, whether it's just. You know, you never know what the carpenters are gonna leave for you. You never know what the house is built like. You never know, like, this one has a deck attached to it, which makes it completely different, you know? So you just have to be ready to do, ready to come up with solutions. You know, I've never flashed one like this around a deck before. Oh, yeah. And it's a lot different. You're working at someone's house that's existing compared to like a new construction job. It's so it's so different. Like, yeah, well, I used to I used to work for all those deadbeat builders. The last new construction job that I worked on was the one that was on the one was Really? Go check that mud. Okay, so we got one more. One more.
Is it hot over there? Yeah. There's literally mud in the box. What? There's literally mud in the box. In what box? The, the one where you have all the nails. What do you mean? How'd I get there? There was water in it. A bunch of water. A bunch of water? Yeah. What? Oh, yeah, because somebody put their gallon. Somebody put their gallon of water in, like, dude, you literally squashed it when you got in the truck this morning. I threw the gallon out. That's that, that's that empty plastic gallon that you probably found out there. I cleaned it out. I don't know whose water gallon, whose gallon of water that was. Yeah, I just gotta do. I'm gonna get this coarser brick up and. How high are you doing? Three high? Yeah, I'm just gonna go three high here. Good amount of brick for right now. Will be enough. Yeah, it'll be fine for now. You can bring more over if, if you're feeling like it. If you ain't got nothing else to do. Yeah, we can't do anything after we pour the concrete. Are you gonna come back and look at it? Tonight? Yeah. No, I don't care what it looks like later. It doesn't have to be finished pretty or anything, just Okay. What is this? I got it from Amazon or Best Buy. Oh no, I got it right from GoPro, right from their website. Oh, where did you get it? A couple weeks ago. Don't hit my camera, please. Give me that long level there. Just put it right across here and we'll see what, what it's doing. That needs to go up, no down. This side needs to be up. <laughs> Stop. Watch out. Oh. My brick's gonna be hard by the time you figure it out. Look, this side's this high. Side. That, no, that leave side it. That high. side's established. You don't touch, don't pick it up, right? So everything comes off of one side, it goes to the other side, right? If the bubble's this way, then we're high. It don't take much, and now it's beauty. Okay, go ahead. Well, I think it could go that way, one one hundredth of a centimeter. Uh, you get a joiner out and start hitting this stuff up. Were we working on that job in Chesterfield when the Pfizer was being born? No. Was it Nyla? No, she was already... Well, I don't know. Oh, dude, this was a long time ago. Like a very long time ago. I think it just depends on what part of that job. Yeah, maybe. 
I think it was. No. Yeah. I would have been 10. It was in two, 2014, that job. There's a one over here. I was trying to think of where that, I was thinking of the picture the other day. I don't know where it is. It's like, uh, I don't know if it's on a hard drive on my computer or something. Do you remember when you and Peyton were playing hide and seek in, in there? Yeah. And you couldn't find him and I had him hidden in a smoke chamber when I was building it. <laughs> I wonder where that picture was. I remember I made like 90 cents an hour and I was mad about it. But you, then I remember that I literally didn't do anything. You didn't make 90 cents an hour. What are you talking about? I made 10 bucks for 12 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and I spent it all on candy at Walmart. <laughs> There's no way you were thinking about that back then. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> You're so cheap, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you're like five years old. I bring you to work and you're like, you expect to get... Five bucks for just showing up on the job. When? Buzz <laughs> has never done anything. If it's soft, just shape them, okay? Shape them. Just shape them if it's soft, and then come back to it after. We'll brush it. We'll brush it later, you know? Just get the shape, because on a day like today, where it's 90 degrees, they could just, they can just lock up on us real quick, huh? Hold it a little sideways when you do that bottom one. You don't have to have it. You don't have to have it perfectly flat, you know? You can angle it like this, so it cuts in, so it's more flush down there, you know? Yeah. You see how it's cleaner like that? Yeah, yeah. Because you don't want it really sticking out past, past the brick. Yeah, so just rotate it. We're thick enough. What are you doing with it? You said you're gonna lay one more. Looks like you're frosting a cake. What are you doing to the brick? What do you mean? Just where would you put that brick if you had a chance to? I was gonna put it in this corner. Oh, you gonna put it on that corner? Yeah. Oh, all right. Go ahead. left over in, in a bucket and put it where the other... I thought that was all of it. There's more. Oh, bring it. I'm gonna lay, I'm gonna lay the rest, lay as many brick as I can with it then. When you get paid to do that, it doesn't get easier than that. Level it up. Level it, plumb it, get it ready. 
What am I supposed to level it? Oh, cost. Huh? There you go. Plummet. You gotta level it first. This way. Now that's range. That's how you range it. Ooh, good eye. Good eye. Level the top of it. Oh my god. This side's high. <laughs> you're hitting a hollow spot in the level. There's no brick under the piece of level you're hitting. Oh, this is brutal. This is a bad day to be a Stabila. Bad day to be a Stabila. Huh? What do you? Because you didn't lay it level. There isn't like any room over there. I think it needs to be thicker. Huh? It needs to be a lot thicker than that. Okay. It's way too skinny of a joint. So this is. Are we changing pattern here? Is this what we're gonna do? Oh my god. We'll just stack bond everything now. Oh my god. Huh? <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> Oh, get out of here. <laughs> you need to stick to jointing and cleaning up. I would have caught on eventually. Yeah, eventually. I would have laid on been like, oh. Mm, I feel bad for Granny now. What's that stuff look like at her house? <laughs> it's all stock bond? No. <laughs> yeah. It's not. No? I made sure of not doing that. Okay, I gotta put these, I'm gonna put these block pieces in first. Go ahead and put a piece of plywood, across, brush that off, and put a piece, that piece of plywood across there like I asked you to earlier. No! Let's see, we're gonna wait. I want it there now. And protect the deck. Okay, a couple more brick now. What is this kid doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. I hope you're going to college. You're just not gonna try? You don't wanna embarrass yourself? 
At least he knows his place in life. What's your place in life, Peyton? I'm a heavy object. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think you got it this time. Doesn't just What are you making? A rocking horse? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I think you're making a rocking horse. <laughs> nice one. Do I need more mud under there? Huh? I don't know why you would ever lay a brick like that. Why? why wouldn't you lay a brick like normal? I mean, you've seen me lay all these ones. Wait, what? I wish I knew that from the beginning. Well, now watch. The mud's on there, and I can just eyeball where it's going, you know? Yeah. I don't know where you got the idea of doing that. Well, because I see you always just loading the brick up, and it looks really smooth. I load the brick up like that before I lay it? Sometimes. I mean, I do look smooth, just not compared to other people. <laughs> no. I look smooth until I get next to a bricklayer. There's some guys that they literally dedicate their whole life just to bricklaying. And they're pretty awesome at it, you know? They can do it fast and smooth, and that's someone I'm never gonna be. Never wanna be that guy. Not a bricklayer, I'm just a problem solver. Okay, and give me that three foot level on that side, please. Did you get it? I don't know. I need to move it. Oh, there's another one right there for you. This one? I mean, you only laying one brick at a time. I don't want to destroy this up. Yeah, try not to, please. Try not to. Let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think Mr. McCormick retired this year. What are you saying? I think Mr. McCormick retired this year. Oh really? Yeah. Everything I do at Granny's I try to do to the best of my ability because I know you're gonna come over and you're like, what? It makes no sense. <laughs> I would, I, was, I would never, I would never. I was sitting there. No I matter how bad it is, I'm not gonna, I'm I not gonna. I my whole entire course. No Thing, just because it wasn't, it didn't look very straight and I redid it. Did you feel better about it after you redid it? A lot better. Okay, so you did it for yourself, not for me. Well, you were in the back of my mind saying, that's not level. Good, I hope I'm there every day for the rest of your life haunting you in the back of your mind. That's how I know I've achieved good parenting. Just block me out. <laughs> you just block me out and do whatever you want. <laughs> 
Did I do that one? Did I do this one? I did. Sure. All right, let's put the level across and see if it's level with the work that I've completed first. Uh, I made it level it's level, time. listen, it's level there, but it has to be on the same plane yep. as the rest of it. So put the six footer across and see. Hopefully it is. You can't hope. You can't hope. Can you? I guess you can. <laughs> oh my God. Right so look. Wait, is it is it just floating? So look, you're on this edge here, right? Uh -huh. So your brick has rolled a little bit, so you're not touching in the front on this front edge. So you just need to you just need to tap it a little bit so it sits flat. Good. Well, hey, there's a lot of guys I know that can't lay a brick like that. Hold on a second. Like <laughs> Hold on a second. Have we? Oh, it's close. It's close, I'll give it to you. Good enough. Was this the hottest work day of the year so far? Yeah. It's only gonna get hotter. How hot did it get? You think? Huh? It says it was 90. Just 90? You know, if I could come to work every day and be able to do this, I would actually have fun and look forward to waking up in the morning. <laughs> really? <laughs> At least for the summer. I'd probably get sick of it at the end of the summer. But it, it, it is fun. Yeah, you wish you could do what? Okay, so when you do this part, do I put the mud on the already existing brick? Or do I put it on this brick? Listen, every guy does it their own way. I do it. I do this. This is my method. I just put okay. the mud on and I pull it in. All right. Okay. Sometimes when I'm doing, I sometimes I mud the brick and I go to the work with it. Some guys spread the whole wall first before they even, before they even lay a brick. That's called traditional style. So traditional style, it's it's hard to do that in this kind of heat though because it it's literally setting up so fast, you know. You literally spread mud down the whole wall, and then you lay one brick after another till it's done. But the, by the time you get to the last couple brick, I mean that it's it's already set up so much. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm. Yes. If it's cooler first thing in the morning, you don't have to worry about leveling. Uh, just a couple brick at a time, you know. You could do a, you could do a whole bunch and then level them out and plumb them out, but. Not right now. When it's 90 degrees plus, you gotta work a little faster to get everything where it needs to be. So this is the pick, the method I use mostly is the pick and dip method. So I got both at one time, right? Mm -hmm. And now I can spread my mud and I've already got the brick here so I can lay it. I don't have to go back and grab a brick. I do this cause I'm old and I don't want to keep turning around. You know, most people you have to turn, grab the mud, grab the mud, spread it, you know, and then grab a brick, grab a brick. Instead, I just grab them at the same time. Maybe it helps out on the wear and tear on my body a little bit. Did you just step on the level? Me? I don't think so. Huh? I don't think so. Uh, Where did you have my brick hammer? Behind you, Peyton, please. Did I get this brick in?
Yeah, you getting ready? You getting ready to make the big box now? You getting ready to make the big box now? No, I'm too slow. I could probably lay like three courses in a whole entire eight hour day. Just pace on long enough. That's about what I do. <laughs> okay. Check it out. Let me see it. Well, it never makes you look good when you grab the squirreliest brick that you yeah, can find. Good. Yeah. Well, that's the problem with these brick. I mean, it's the look, but you know, some, some, sometimes you get a skinny one, and now your head joints are all fatter on this course. You know, yeah. so you got to watch out. Sometimes you grab a corner that's not good because they're kind of messed up. You know. All right. So you got two on. Can we keep them? You see, it's not like hitting the level there. It doesn't do anything. You gotta, if you're gonna tap something, you gotta tap where it's, where you feel the high spot is, you know? Okay, and you just have to check down here. I usually check when I get to the end, you know, yeah. by the house, but since, since these are getting hard already, I gotta do it quickly. Now look at the brick, okay? This is a straight brick. This brick is all kind of wonky. Like the corner's in, the corner's in, and then it, and it's, so you just gotta be aware if you get a crooked brick like that, right? Mm -hmm. You can't you can't just smash this out to be on the same plane with the level because you'll mess everything out else up You know yeah. if it's square with what's going on here. That's what we want to leave You know the front is pretty square with what's going on there So, so it's, it's <laughs> No, you don't have to replace it. You just want to be aware of that this is this is sometimes what they do And sometimes going straight to the level is not the best thing, you know? Because if, if I push this to the level, it's gonna twist it on this side too, you know? Yeah. So this side will end up being in. Okay, I'm just gonna lay some brick here now. You're gonna have to... I'm gonna pull in all the joints first. Yeah, go to that side joint, what I just... Start jointing what I just did. I'm gonna try to use this last little bit of mud up before we pour the concrete. I just felt a rock in there. Yeah, that makes her spit up some stupid stuff. Some of rocks. She's in there somewhere. <coughs> okay. All right. No. Where he figured it out. 
we both just learn by working. You learn on the job. You're a laborer working with a mason and you get your chance to lay brick and you just learn how to lay a couple at a time. You know? And then you fake it for a while. <laughs> All right, folks, it's time to meet the crew. What do we got here? Brick joiner extraordinaire. This, uh... this is Landon. Who's this guy? Ah. Uh? Hayen? Oh, you look like a shaggy mutt right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who's winning, Peyton? You were the tape. Peyton? What? Say hi. <laughs> oh my god, he's a giant. <laughs> Oh, where is the brush? You guys are looking at the wrecking crew. I dropped it. Where's the brush is it over there? It's probably inside, right there where you left it. Just inside the thing, like you left it before. I did not leave it there. All right. Doing your vlog. This is my vlog. Hey, Logan. If anybody's seeing anything suspicious around the job. Just lay off. These guys aren't professional laborers. They barely know how to mix mud. If I get it soft, it's okay. If I get it hard, I have to deal with it. If I get bricks in the right spot, I'm happy. If the joining's not perfect, I fix it. What do you have to say? My joining. Yeah? All right. This guy's also double as cameraman. And... That. I can be a professional. And uh, editors, too. Cameramen, editors, laborers. Fortnite gods. Don't do it. Fortnite gods. <laughs> Cleaner uppers. All right, fellas, that was your introduction to the prime time. That's the first and last time you guys will see us. <laughs> I'm doing the rest myself. Go ahead and throw five bags in. Get them ready. You know what? Just throw five bags in and start mixing it. You know how to. You know how to run it. Just start mixing it. Just do it slow. You know. Okay. You know how to run it. You can do it, right? Just tilt it down so it's mixing slow. You think he gets it started? No. He can't even get it started. Come on. He definitely gets it started. You know how the choke works? Yeah. Sometimes I have a hard time figuring out which way it's going. Really? I never have a problem starting to loop lower up. Takes a little while. You're going to hear that thing pull like five times. Is he going to rip the recoil out of it? You think he'll rip the recoil? He won't rip it out. He doesn't pull it out. You don't need to pull hard. Don't make a bet. Make a bet what? No. I just heard him pull it ten times and it stopped running. Huh? Yeah, they say concrete, they're red. You got it running? No. Why not? Okay. Get a really good 
not starting. You can pull it in. Pull it one time. They're in there. They're in there forever. Nice. They were good enough. You left me and Peyton on that job in Temple with an arch tip chimney to try to lay some brick. But when you went down and ate lunch, and I literally didn't even put down a single brick because I could not figure out how to do it. You know, it's different here than it is in other countries. In Europe, they have apprenticeships and they learn how to they learn how to do everything first in the in in the classroom before they even get out. You know. Yeah. They do that with like horticulture too, like plant stuff and landscaping. Smith had a some sort of stupid videos from Europe about oh, horticulture. Here they let anybody, anybody do it. There used to be all that stuff here years ago, apprenticeships and stuff like that, but there's just not anymore. It's gotta move. It's it'll still move? Yeah, it'll move. You just add a little water a little bit at a time. So even if There's that put, big rock. Even if you put it in all dry, it'll still move? Yeah. The other mixer won't go. Well, the other mixer won't spin it. It doesn't have enough, enough power, you know? The belt, the belts won't let it, you know? That belt and that big one is Mod is getting stiff quick. Give me that two foot level next to you. Yeah, I mean, it took me a long time to learn. Like I, I did a lot of crooked brickwork before I learned how to lay brick straight, you know? And it was okay, because the guys that I was working with were, they were laying cro crooked brickwork too, you know? Big fat joints, laying very inefficient brick. Taking like a long time to do just a little bit of work. That wasn't like, It'd be different if you're taking a long time, it was good work, but it was just like, not very good work. Then you look at all the mill buildings around here, you know, you don't have to go that far, even in our town, and you look at the, the brickwork that was done on those buildings, you know? Huh? Are they good? Oh yeah, really good. But you know, they had a lot of skilled bricklayers on those projects. And not like, like they knew, they knew a lot about what they were doing. It was, it was their specialty. They're not like, they didn't like repair chimneys and do whatever. They, they were just bricklayers, you know? This is what they did every day. And they literally laid, you know, a couple thousand brick a day probably. Some of them, some of them were probably really good. 
but then then again you know it, it wasn't like uh I don't know, they had a, a huge workforce, so they had people moving stuff for them, cutting stuff for them, laying it out for them, setting heights and doing all this. And, and literally they just put brick in front of them and they're laying brick, you know? Yeah. But there was a lot more pride in it back then. It wasn't like, it wasn't pride and money. People actually had pride and craftsmanship back then. So they all wanted to do a good job or, or you wouldn't be on the masonry crew, you know? You'd, you'd go on the, um, you'd be on a different crew. They, they'd they lay off, you know, and then you'd have to go work on the concrete crew or or whatever. They might not have had a concrete crew back then, but like the form or the uh, the carpentry crew or something. Oh, yeah. In a wheelbarrow? Yeah, it depends. No, not in a wheelbarrow. They probably would have done it on the ground on like a, a sheet of something, you know? Now everybody has pride and money, so it's just like get it done fast so I can make more money. Do it with the cheapest material possible or the least amount of material possible so I can make more money. To, yeah, so just like anything else, you put the choke on until it sputters or starts and then you turn it, and then you turn it off. That's what I thought. Except for like the leaf blower, after it sputters you go to half choke you know Uh, how's the joint going? Good? Okay, you need to cut some rebar for the, for the slab. You cut them right at 48 inches. Okay. Um, one, two, you cut, you can cut three at four feet and then cut another one at three feet. So four of them will be enough. Yeah, I'll finish the joining. <laughs> 